and then and then uh, you know just talk uh, about the season just uh, you know in the aftermath of the other day I'm sure that uh, you know there's just a, you know a lot of speculation about everything and uh, so it's it was a very tough day uh, for college basketball obviously there's a lot of people that were impacted you know by you know what's already happened so <clears throat> it's uh, it's tough and it's uh, you feel for a lot of people you know there are a lot of victims here uh, in this whole process so you know it's it's a sport that's been very good to me and in my life uh, love college basketball you know with my heart so you know it hurts that uh, that that's it's going through a dark period right now uh, you know that being said we're you know it's taken us a while to really put ourselves in a position where you know we're looking forward to truly looking forward to a season and uh, you know having having seniors that are focused and invested in starting the season you know my my whole mind is is really focused on them and just making this the best possible year that can make it for you know Shannon Evans Trey Holder Cody Justice that you know want to get to the postseason and uh, you know I think our our roster has improved and uh, you know we're seeing the the impact of you know having a deeper team in our practice today it was uh, you know it was uh, it was very competitive uh, you know the transfers are are adding you know a different element uh, you know just like I imagined that they would in terms of just uh, elevating the level of uh, you know what I'm seeing uh, out on the floor so you know we have a busy weekend in front of us here uh, you know we're gonna have multiple practices over the next couple of days and just I uh, want to get off to a fast start and really start putting in you know <clears throat> what we're going to be doing on offense and defense and making sure our conditioning is where it needs to be and um, you know those are uh, the primary focuses like they always are this first weekend so uh, but but very excited to uh, to begin practice um, what, what, going off the overseas trip how much farther along do you feel like you are right now as opposed to previous years yeah it's it's been great because even today you know we you know, we used an hour and ten minutes that we had left over from from our two hours to, to get a jump start today. And you know, there's not as much explanation in terms of the drills. There's more familiarity with you know some of the younger players that you know we had an opportunity in those practices to uh, to begin to to go through the drills that that we're going to use in our practices. So it was it was quicker tempo, quicker pace. Um, now that we transition tomorrow to to having four hours a day. It gives us more time to, to teach, and uh, it's maybe not quite as a, a frantic uh, pace uh, in terms of the practice. What do you what do you anticipate being able to do more or differently, just given your depth and your size that you have? This year? I mean, I just think you know we talked a lot uh, about balance, and you know I think we were we were so uh, with, with our team having the lack of depth that we had last year, and uh, you know we were very one dimensional with what we could do and how we could attack our opponent and. You know, we had to do it from behind the three-point line, or you know, our guards getting to the rim for layups. That, that's really the only way that we effectively scored in the paint last year. I just think, you know, with uh, particularly Ramella White and what he's shown us throughout the off-season, he would be a guy that that you know, offensively we could throw a ball to a little more that that we really you know didn't have last year. And then, you know, I think over the long haul, just when. When Mickey Mitchell uh, is eligible and Kamani Lawrence, it gives us some bigger wing players that, that we didn't have last year. So then, just overall, just you know, just being more confident in in the ten guys that we have and knowing that you know we we're, we're a deeper team. Are you seeing the senior leadership you're expecting to see on and off the court from uh, from Cody, Trey, and Shannon? I just see how they've approached everything um, has been tremendous in the off season. Just the years that we've spent, we got a, you know, very strong bond, and you know, we talk about you know leadership and, and the impact of of winning and you know those experiences of, of possibly playing in the NCAA tournament. And you know, I know that Shannon has had that with me at Buffalo, but you know, Trey and Cody have it, and they're really, really focused on wanting to accomplish that. They know that you know every practice that we have has to be at a very high level and competing with each other, challenging each other, and. Uh, and setting a great example for all our young players in the program. And that's what 
you know, Trey, Shannon, and Cody have done uh, pretty effectively. Cody's the guy that had, had a decision to make after this year. He maybe could have gone elsewhere if he wanted. What does it say about him to stick around here and his career here? Yeah, I mean, I think Cody uh, loves the area. He's, he's you know, he's, uh, you know, an Arizona guy. And, and um, you know, he... I think the system, uh, especially with our conversations and knowing that he'll be playing more of his true position and, you know, the relationship that we've built, uh, I, I think was pretty strong side. And as much as people might have thought that he might try and explore his options, I, I was pretty pretty confident that Cody wanted to uh, to be a Sun Devil and, and, and finish his career and try and really take a, help the program take a big step and, and uh, trying to get to postseason. You mentioned that the 10 players didn't always go that deep last year. Is this going to be a better problem to have as far as playing time to figure out who works well and how far you can go? Yeah, I mean, there's just different combinations that we could use. We, we played small ball throughout the entire game last year, and um, we could do that some this year because I think we've added strength to the guard position. Uh, you know, it's certainly when you bring back two of the top 12 scorers in the Pac-12, Shannon Evans and Trey Holder, and then you add Cody to that, you feel tremendous about the experience and, and, and the level of play of your guards. And then when you add Remy Martin, who is a, uh, you know, a, a very athletic, very explosive, very good defender. And, uh, you know, so that core of, of guards is, um, you know, is really, really strong. So I'm excited about that. Romello has a lot of energy. What, what, what is that? Is that infectious on teams and your experience of playing and coaching? I think the, one of the great things that, that Romello does is that he just competes and and he's very rugged. And he, some guys, you know, might be big and strong, but they don't they don't like contact. They shy away from contact, and and Romello doesn't. He enjoys uh, you know physical play. So uh, and and he's got you know good instincts and footwork and, and things. Um, so he's uh, and, and you know you could throw it to him, and, and he has got a good feel for what to do. You know, I, I've seen him make already numerous really good passes out of the post when when he's getting doubled so there's uh you know a lot of great things we're seeing out of him run that Romovia had a pretty solid uh, showing at the FIBA U20 what kind of player did you see different now compared to last year I just think as a freshman you, you're learning and for him it was an adjustment of of the speed and the pace of the game it was you know more so than international it's uh the American game is different that way so there's there's an athletic adjustment and, and he needs to figure out how he could be effective because he's, you know, he's not a super athlete, um, but he's got experience again. He's got one year in the program. You know, I, I think I'm building, you know, more trust with him. Uh, and, and instinctively, he's doing things that some of the other guys are a little bit behind in. You know, he's great at kind of knowing when to run out to a ball screen as as we might be out of our offense and um, and, and giving those guards a chance to, to make a play out of that. and. But he's uh, he's coming along, and again, I think that he could be a guy that, that I certainly would uh, would want to play some this year. Is everyone healthy? Uh, yeah, I mean, we came in w with everyone in practice today. Um, you know, Remy uh, went out fairly early, but but uh, we're not overly concerned. I think it's more of a, a day to day thing with him, so I don't I don't foresee anything serious with Remy right now. Did you ever hear anything else about an extra year for Zion? You know that's gonna uh, that's gonna play out. I don't think we're gonna you know, have an answer on that right away, but uh, we're certainly gonna you know pursue that. I think he's got a legitimate case for it. And just to circle back to this week, would you welcome an overhaul to to the recruiting system? I mean, I, I think that there's gonna have to be you know a wider uh, examination of college basketball and the system. You know, when when all the dust settles here. Um, and certainly, there uh, it doesn't appear to be a system that works right now. So, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of conversation about that in in the next couple of months. Does it seem a lot different to you now versus when you were going through the process? As far as recruiting and some of the things that are around it. I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you know, when I don't want to get into too many details, but yeah. when I when I did play, you know, there was always rumors about guys that had got this or that to be where they were. So this is nothing uh, that's completely unexpected. How much do you think it's going to be like a storyline this season, though? Almost, you're asked about it constantly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, again, it's it just uh, depends on, you know, how much more is coming out and, and, and what the next steps are. But, but as far as, you know, we're concerned, we just got to 
just got to focus on basketball, getting better as a team, and finally have a team that I feel great about with a chance to, uh, you know, to have a great season. And and that's where my mind and my thoughts are. Anything else? Have you addressed your athletes or coaching staff following the scandal? We we met briefly yesterday. I, I was recruiting uh, uh, the day it broke, so I wasn't in town. Um, but so we just let them know what was going on, and again, just to try and. Uh, prepare our guys for, for things that are happening. Some of our guys didn't really even know what was going on. Uh, uh, but it was um, it's a big story, and we wanted to make them aware of what's happening and just to, to focus on, on getting better and, uh, and starting the season in, in, a, in a real positive way. And that was kind of the message that we had for the guys. Thank so. you.